Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a grocery list in Reminders on iPhone. So today in front of me is the iPhone 12 with the iOS 17.5.1, but it really doesn't matter which iPhone you have or which version of the iOS you have, it is all going to work the same on every iPhone. So, <coughs> what you want to do is to open Reminders, and now as you can see I do have a grocery standard list created so now let's uh, if you want to create a new grocery list you want to click on the right bottom corner add list and then select where you want to save it in my case i want to save it in icloud if you don't have any other account connected then icloud to your reminders uh, you're not going to have this option that i had right now so First of all, what you want to now change is the list type, so change it to grocery list, groceries, and now you can change the list name. So let's say I want to add grocery test, I want to name it that way. And here you can now select the different color, in my case it's going to be the purple one, as you can see, and also you can select the icon and i want to have the grocery bag icon to the grocery obviously after all you can go to templates uh, if you have one and use them but we don't want to have uh, we don't want to do it right now but after all you want to click done and now you can add items to the groceries and uh, if you select the grocery list type of this list you're gonna see what is going to happen so i'm gonna write chicken and then i'm going to write milk and then i'm going to write uh, bread and maybe fish as you can see what it does it changes uh, it gives me the categories of each um, item that I put here from the groceries as you can see you can also add notes to the specific items and also if you click info button you can add a date and so on and so on where uh, when as a new reminder you can add for example informations when and where you need to buy chicken for example if you want to uh, I don't think that you're going to use it with the grocery list but if you want to we have another video on our channel how to do how to set up a reminder and in that video I talked about everything you can change right here and what it does so uh, I'm not going to do it right now so I'm just going to click done but here you can add notes for example at least one kilogram something like that so uh, let's click done this is all you can do um, any other food you are going to put here for example let's say I want to add a flower so it's gonna be baking items I think so as you can see right now it is so let's click done and I will show you how your grocery list can Mm. look like after all so this is what I have put in my grocery list standard and also you can change view to the list as I said as I had the one before so and also you can view by columns so this works uh, better for me so you want to have this three dots right here and then mm, select view as columns this is more readable I would say as you can see we have a lot of options right here so and also you can swipe and swipe through the categories also uh, let's say you are in a shop right now and doing groceries so what you want to do is to obviously mark after marking what it does it is sends the item that you have marked at the bottom so you don't need to 
just look for it, it is going to be on the very bottom with every item um, that you have selected and this is going to happen in every column as you can see so but you need to head specifically to the <laughs> Uh, to the place where the dot should be because as you can see you can hit next to it and this is going to take you to the editing option of that position so uh, after selecting you can hit clear if you want to but what it does that it is going to uh, remove all the completed items from this list as the end this cannot be undone so, um, let's say you just bought everything from this list, but you want to save it to the, um, you know, for the future. So what you can do is just unmark all the items, or you can just click these three dots right here and also uh, click to save it as template. And also uh, you can mark right now if you want to, uh, include completed reminders or not uh, and if they are going to be marked as completed I don't want to have them completed so I just want to click save and now uh, this list is in your templates uh, and also what you can do with the view so you can sort manual columns so what it does, as you can see, for example, right here, there's G, T, C. So what you can do is to sort, for example, to the title. So it is going to be alphabetical. You can do it uh, sort by, you know, date, creation date, but it doesn't really matter here because you need to add the dates to the specific tasks to make it work. The priority also with the priority, but uh, it only works if the positions have some priority. And also you can go with the ascending or descending with the title, for example, as you can see. Also, you can select to hide completed options. If this works better for you, I prefer to have it all uh, here with the marked also so I can check all the time and this is basically it what you can do right here I would say yeah so let's now talk about the template so now if you are going to uh, create the list you can go to the templates and choose the template that you have saved so this is the template I would say uh, that we have created so I can now just use this template and change the name list so I'm going to name it test2 and this is going to be just the same list but with all the options and all are unmarked so this is it this is how you can make your grocery list and reminders on iPhone so Thanks for watching, I hope this video helped you, if it did, please leave a like and consider to subscribe to our channel. Bye!